Hi everybody! Hi Mia! So it's no secret by now that I like to make D&D dice and I like to collect D&D dice so today I thought it might be fun to take a closer look at a collection I have amassed so far. So let's get into it. Okay so this is one of two places that I store my dice. This is my main dice storage. This is a 60 drawer craft container that I got from Kmart for $37 dollars and each little drawer can hold two sets of dice so everything with a blue dot is dice that I have made and everything with a gold star is dice that I have purchased the only other place I store my dice is in my D&D backpack where I have this dice case where I have the game dice purchased and dice made and these are the dice that I play with and this is my very special initiative die alright so let's take a closer look at each set Let's start with dice I've made. So this barbarian set that I've made is one of my most favourites. Pardon me. But if you guys have any suggestions of dice that you think would be cool to see or that I can make, I'm all for it. Leave comments below and I'll just put it on the list. I'm always looking for new suggestions and new ideas. I've recently purchased some new moulds that are custom made so it's not going to infringe on anybody's copyright and maybe I may even start selling the odd set here and there but I'm really excited some of these dice that I have made have um, been suggestions from my children from my husband or friends and family even my uh, D&D group and some of these are ones that I have made for characters and there's already videos on. This one here I was trying to test a new red ink and it's not dark enough for my liking. This one was supposed to be a dirty pour but it didn't quite play out the way I wanted it to. This is just cheese because my four year old thought it would be funny. But yeah. This set in particular is made with teeth. I bought a set of really shoddy teeth dentures from Timu and put them inside. And this one I tried to make look like blood on the snow but it didn't quite pan out the way I wanted it to. And these are supposed to be spooky pumpkins. These ones glow in the dark. This is just, you know, cheeseburgers, fries and a Coke. This is my Dice Dice Baby Dice. Dice within dice. Pardon me, this is like my anime girl dream cloud type dice. But again, if you guys have any suggestions or ideas for dice, these are my blood in the water dice, which I thought looked better without the numbers inked in. And this is one of two sets of donut dice that I have made. I made this one initially in the video that went up last week was the second set that I had made. These are sushi dice. These were supposed to be sort of like a hellfire, but they turned out more of like a dragon blood type dice. These are the dice that you guys saw last week. These are my lava 
slash hellfire dice and this is my very special singular initiative die that I use and we're moving on to dice that I have purchased now all of the dice I have purchased I've either purchased from Armageddon which is like the New Zealand version of Comic Con or only a few sets I've purchased from Timu only one set from Wish everything else has been from New Zealand game stores so there's bdnd.co.nz dice uh, goblingames.co.nz dice and I think those are the only online purchased ones everything else has been purchased from Armageddon it's one of the main things I buy when I go I started making dice because me and my brother were talking we wanted to get into D&D so I thought right cool I'm on dice you find us a group you're the one with the social media and in his ADHD very hyper focused brain found a group forgot to tell me and started playing but in the second campaign I've now since joined the group so we all play together now it's a lot of fun and I have many many dice and it's one of those things that um, I think is just like a harmless thing to buy they're not like shoes or anything like that that most I guess girls would buy these this is just like my little guilty pleasure at the end of the week if everything else has been accounted for this one reminds me of lemon meringue pie This was from a mystery bag that I purchased online. This one was from my local game store, Viking Games. And this was the very first set of dice I ever purchased. This is the only set I ever purchased from Wish. I have a lot of purchased die sets that are similar, but the inking and the numbers might be different, or the font might be different. And this is my most expensive set of dice. It cost me nearly $40 New Zealand. And this is a bit of bonus, I guess. When I make dice, not everything pans out. And if they don't work out, they go in the jar. But that's my entire collection. So if you like it, leave a comment, subscribe, and tell me what you want to see next. Bye.